Happy Friday, everybody, and happy game day eve as South Carolina is set to not only welcome the number one ranked Georgia Bulldogs into Columbia this weekend, but according to Gamecock Central recruiting insider Wes Mitchell, they'll also be welcoming over 40 prospects. I'll dig deeper into that in just a little bit because let's call it for what it is. This weekend is Nicholas Harbor weekend, one of 21 five-star prospects according to on three's class of 2023 and not just that but the number one rated athlete in the country now if you don't know about harbor you've been missing out i mean this kid can run he can catch and he can certainly hit listed at six foot five 230 pounds harbor is the top prospect out of washington dc i mentioned earlier that he can run well yeah but it's a little bit more than that we're talking about a guy who runs a 10 4 in the 100 meter dash. So never mind the fact that you have one of the few five-star prospects in the country visiting your school this weekend, because more importantly, Harbor is the highest rated prospect ever to take an official visit to USC during the Shane Beamer era. So what should Harbor expect when he visits? I'm talking from the airport to the hotel, maybe a restaurant or two to the stadium and everything else in between. Well, a guy who didn't need to swing by the airport because he was so close by, not too far away up in Duncan, but knows what it's like to be a five-star prospect recruited by South Carolina is Marcus Lattimore. Recently on the Believe in South Carolina podcast, Lattimore shed some light on that very question. Everybody knows who you are once you land in Columbia, South Carolina. That That's just a fact from the airport. And, and to the basketball game when they're chanting your name uh and you know when you're at restaurants everybody's gonna know who he is because we get googly eyed over a five star and i get googly eyed over a five star and if i saw him i'd do the same thing just just period uh it's of course it, of course his experience is going to be different you know it, he not 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 that we're going to um, create, not that we're going to create an experience for all the other recruits that are going to be there that, that is top notch. Everybody's going to have a top notch experience, but you make a statement across the country when you land a five star. And it's just the psychology of fans, the psychology of everybody that watches football. Once you see that, you land that. You, 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 again, you, you, you're making noise across America, and that's important. That's important whether you, whether you want it to be or not as a coach. You know, you can say, I don't care about all that. We, the coaches care about that. Now, now that, that, that's just, that just put in a different category. You know, you land Asia Wilson, who's a five star. You land a, you know, Aaliyah Boston, who's a five star. I mean, it's just, Gigi it, everybody knows who they are. So, mm -hmm. His experience is going to be completely different once he steps on campus. And it, with it being a Georgia game, I mean, it, it's – it's uh, he's going to have a good time. You know, Does he's going to be win? well taken care of and his family. Does that game uh, – I know I'm going to upset a lot of people when I say this. Does the game really matter that much in your eyes? I mean, as someone that went through the process, and I know it's different because you don't know exactly what this kid's thinking in comparison when you were going through the process, Marcus – but is it more about the result? Is it more about just keeping it close if they don't win? Is it a combination of the environment? Like, what, what are the, some of the factors that you're yeah. looking for, you feel like, or, or as someone that went through this before, that he might be looking at when he goes up on campus? Well, Nick knows this. Mike, you know this. I mean, Nick, you sat in the stands. I mean, the atmosphere is just completely different when you bring your state rival like, I mean, Georgia has really, over the past 10 years, it's been a battle between South Carolina and Georgia. You know, so you, I mean, Mike, you mentioned the word atmosphere. The atmosphere is just, it's williams Bryce at its best. It's williams Bryce in its top form. The game's going to be sold out. The, the, the energy will be building all day long. You know, it, it, it's just, it's something that you can't recreate. When and, and again, not saying that Georgia State isn't going to be a, a hype game or, or or you know a low a lesser opponent. And, and again, it's the SEC. Let's just call it for what it is. The SEC, it's border states. 
Now, again, according to our own Wes Mitchell, over 40 prospects are expected to be on campus this weekend visiting South Carolina. Many of those guys will be on unofficial visits, but that list includes so many players who have already verbally committed to South Carolina. We're talking Marquis Anderson. We're talking Monte Rames. We're talking Pup Howard. In addition to that, there'll also be a healthy dose of class of 2024 players that they're looking at 25 and even 26 for the latest on all your Gamecock news be sure to follow Gamecock Central all week and long we'll have updates on how those visits went at South Carolina and much much more until next time I'm Mike Yuba